This is the Germont British News, presenting the world to the world. Park Lane's Dorchester Hotel had a star-spangled evening with the presentation of the Daily Mail's National Film Award. Lord and Lady Rothermere greet Margaret Lockwood, acclaimed by the ballot as Britain's number one actress for the second year running. Genial producer Sidney Box was closely followed by that great ambassador of British films, Mr. J. Arthur Rack. Representing Hollywood, that crazy pair Laurel and Hardy stage a little presentation of their earth, with Mr. Hardy, as usual, getting the lion's share. Lord Rothermere announces the names of the winners of this year's three silver stars. And now, into the limelight steps Margaret Lockwood, a radiant figure, to receive her trophy from Lady Rothermere. Very, very heavy, heavy, I'm not there. Is it? Thank you. To have won one of these silver stars is a great honor. But to be the happy possessor of two is, I can assure you, more than I ever dared to hope for. Thank you. For the film voted best of the year in this contest, producer Herbert Wilcox. From New York, the winner of the third trophy, James Mason, sent a radio message of thanks. Thank you, thank you. All those who voted a trophy for me a second time. Once more, I disagree with you, but I love you all the more for thinking as you do. And on his behalf, Mr. Rank receives the award. Lord and Lady Rothermere, it was very great pleasure that I accept this trophy on behalf of Mr. James Mason, a very great artist. I was delighted to hear his voice tonight and to know that he's doing such good work for British films in New York. Uh, I take it that his message means that he'll be playing in many more British pictures, doesn't matter for what group, as long as that great actor plays in British pictures, that'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. 